this is Stephen Gelson. I'd like to welcome you to SWK 380 for fall 2016. This is our semester where we're going to be looking at the human body and the social environment for uh, social work. And as part of that, what I want to do today is provide in this intro where I'll briefly go over our course syllabus. I've also provided that online in Blackboard for you as well as um, a PDF file that's on the Blackboard site as well and under syllabus. But let me briefly go over the syllabus and then I'll come back, I'll stop this recording and I'll come back and I'll provide a PowerPoint of chapter one as well as a link to a variety of the, uh, the videos that I'm going to ask you to watch for today's session. First off, let me kind of dissuade you or uh, if any concerns that you might have regarding the nature of our course. We're going to be looking at biology, but looking at biology in terms of its meaning for social work. We're going to be looking at a variety of systems. So if you'll look at the syllabus, as you glance, spend some time looking at the syllabus and glance through it, you'll notice that we're going to examine the cardiovascular system, the skeletal muscle system, the immune system, etc. But all from the perspective in terms of what it means for us as in terms of social science or what it means for us in terms of thinking about biology as a social worker, in terms of that application of that material, that information, both in terms of health and wellness and illness. But let me back up just a little bit more in terms of providing a little bit more information about myself and this particular course. I've been teaching biology for social workers for a number of years now and have learned a variety of things. But as I begin to teach begin this semester, I welcome any kind of questions, concerns, input that you might have in terms of how I might better address these issues for you as an individual student and our particular class. So there are a number of ways to get in touch with me. If you'll look at our Blackboard, I have provided a Google Hangout, and the Google Hangout allows us to have you and I, or you and, and several students to hang, have a video or virtual conversation about the topics related to our particular course, topics related to social work and social work practice, those types of issues. Um, so you can contact me that way. What you'll need to do if we want to use Google Hangout is give me um, some times and some days and you and I can work around your particular schedule. The other ways to contact me are of course on email. If you look on the uh, syllabus you'll see my email. There is uh, stephen.f.gilson at main.edu. So that's a Gmail and if also on our Blackboard there's a way to link to me directly and provide me an email. The other way to contact me of course is my telephone number is in my office. It's easier and more you're going to have more success um, if for more immediate contact if you do it in terms of if we think about kind of connecting with each other via email. But I'm also very willing to meet with you in class around your schedule and my schedule, and so we can work that out. So those are, those are at least three ways. The final way in terms of thinking about this is if it's a general question that you might have pertaining to all of our class, that if you have a particular question either about assignments or those to other types of issues that you think other people might have, post that question to our discussion folder and then I can respond not only to you but other people in our class who might have uh, similar concerns or, or, or questions about uh, either the format, the syllabus, or the assignments. Well, let's move forward now just a little bit. As you know, we have a text for our class and that's the Cohen text. And so I found over time that that particular text is particularly germane to our thinking about uh, biology from a variety of perspectives. Again, not just in terms of, of disease, but in terms of what we need to think about in terms of health and wellness and how we might apply that to a variety of populations. In addition to that particular text, you'll notice in terms of our readings, I have selected a variety of readings that I'm either going to provide for you a link in terms of a URL link and or a reading in terms of that I'll provide the PDF and I'll provide that on our Blackboard folder for you as well. So the two ways that you can access the readings for our particular class again are going to be um, our book. Actually, there are multiple ways. The, our book, the a URL link, or the PDF that I provided in a particular file for our, our course. The other readings or the other ways where information is going to be presented, and you'll notice that today I provided in our PowerPoint a number of links to videos. And so perhaps the best way to watch the PowerPoints, listen to the PowerPoints, is as you go through the PowerPoint, you can either stop it at that point, 
It's up to PowerPoint at the top of the MP3 file and click on the link that will take you to the video, watch the link and then come back and join us. In addition to providing the PowerPoint which you can download to your computer, your tablet, your smartphone, I'm also provide, I'll provide an MP3 file for each one of the PowerPoints so that you can load, download that um, to your particular computer, tablet, smartphone, whatever, um, so that you can listen to those either concurrently or independently. So whatever meets your kind of needs in terms of desires, in terms of learning. What I'm going to ask you to do as we move through the, this particular course is you'll notice that for today, today's reading, um, I have asked you to read chapter one. Typically, I will ask you to, our assignment one for each week is going to be to provide me with a summary uh, that you post to assi the assignment number one folder, and that's a summary or a review of the reading. So you can see that in terms of if you move through the syllabus to assignment number one, and that is go see the assignment uh, folder, and there's a link on our Blackboard that'll take you right there. You can post your summary, and that what I'm asking you to do, and except for this week, which you can post this coming by this coming Thursday, to post on Sunday um, at 5 p.m. The questions that you might have about the reading, questions or concerns, um, points that you thought were that you agreed with, perhaps points that you disagreed with, particular insights that you gained. What I'll do at that point is, rather than respond to each individual um, posting, my overall intent is to use your collective responses and provide that's going to serve as part of the makeup of our weekly lectures. Our weekly lectures are going to take the form of a variety of formats. As I mentioned, there's going to be some PowerPoints. We'll do some MP3 files. From time to time, I'll come back and do a video file. If there are particular points that I need to come back during the middle of the week, I will do that as well. Um, I will try and post our lectures weekly, usually by Sunday um, p.m. late in the evening. I'll try and record over the weekend. I'll use that after I have a chance to review everybody's posting. So that, again, what I'm asking you for assignment number one is to post the readings for that week by 5 p.m. Again, for this week and this week only, please, by Thursday at 5 p.m. So as an example, for due next week, which is session two, Cohen chapter nine and Cohen chapter 10 should be read and posted by the Sunday um, that particular a week from today. Um, so with that said, let me uh, briefly go over some of the format and the other assignments for the, for the class. As I mentioned, we're going to have a variety of ways we're going to present information, or I'm going to present information. Um, it's going to be PowerPoint, PowerPoint with an MP3 file, some video lectures, either TED Talks, some uh, music videos from time to time, a variety of ways that we'll try and look at that information as you go through. And if there are additional questions or additional clarification, don't hesitate to let me know that, and I'll come back to that. Now, you, this, the overall course objectives and course descriptions are pretty straightforward. Again, our intent is to look at biology from the standpoint of how it might influence our practice as social workers when we're thinking about uh, the biological experiences of an individual. We're going to be looking at it in terms of not only the complications or what goes wrong, and I'm using that in quotes, in terms of when a disease factor might uh, emerge, but also in terms of how we maintain um, positive health, not only for, our, for the individuals we're working with, but for ourselves as well. As part of the premise behind this course is our understanding of physiology and biology and issues related to health influence not only our work as, as in terms of when we're providing that information to other individuals, but in terms of how we as individuals maintain our own health so that we can provide direct practice. Okay, one of the things that um, I've also provided is to kind of give you a hint of the type of information we're going to be looking at. I provided a link to um, a chapter that I have written for an HBSE text on biology. And so if you look at that and read through that and browse through that, and as we come to each week when we're talking about a particular system, go back and look at that, that'll give you a hint or an idea of the nature of biology, the nature of physiology, the nature of anatomy that we will be examining that week with respect to a particular system. Um, so in terms of how I intend or how I would like to operate this class is we'll 
kind of alternate weeks. One week we will spend time looking at the particular issues with respect to a system and for the most part then followed by a week where we'll look at the application, the kind of so what. So first week is how do we understand that system, second week then being followed by or the follow-up week being followed by what does this mean for us as social workers, what does this mean for us as individuals. You can look through the, uh, the schedule of uh, readings and videos for the week. So I'm not going to spend time today doing that, but let me just go over the assignment so you're aware of that. As I mentioned, your first assignment, assignment number one, is addressing the issue in terms of providing the summary of the readings or critique of the readings, review of the readings. That's worth 20% of your grade, but that's going to provide me with the information so that when I come to our weekly lectures, I have an under a better understanding of what areas of concern areas of uh, that I need to provide clarification in my weekly lectures. Assignment number two is periodically throughout the semester we will have self-assessment quizzes. These are not going to be graded A, B, C, D in, in the typical fashion. These are really self-assessment readings that come from our readings or self-assessment quizzes that come from our readings or your readings related to the material. Taking these and I've I have not decided, but I suspect I'll probably do around six, perhaps one on each system. And with that one on each system, then providing the basis for your understanding of what's going to take place in terms of our midterm and ultimately our final exam. So again, these are self-assessment quizzes to give you a sense of how well you're understanding the material. There's an automatic grading system, so you'll find about the items which you got wrong, the items which you got right. It's not going to be graded A, B, C, D, however they are required, and completion of all of the um, self-assessment quizzes is essential in order for you to receive the full 10% for that. Assignment number three is another part of the so what in terms of I'm going to be providing you and I'll clearly identify what they are and where they are, what are called the instructor guided questions for the week. And then with those are, are the activities that you'll see on the PowerPoint. As example, today's instructor guided question um, is really asking you to provide your definition of health, uh, your definition, how you understand it, those types of issues. And so that posting for this particular class is again going to be uh, to the assignment uh, instructor guided questions folder. So that's a separate folder from our, our folder that uh, you're going to be using for your summary folder. So that's assessment that's the instructor guided question assessment number three folder. In that, I'm, so for, for this particular week, it's really asking you to look at the issue of how you're defining health and what your source of understanding what what health is uh, for us, and that'll serve as a basis for us as we move forward. The other uh, assignments for this week, uh, for this particular semester, is uh, I'm going to be asking you to uh, electronically or otherwise form a small group, a small group presentation. You can look at assignment number four, and I'll be asking you to post this, um, your chapter and ultimately your take on application of a biological system to a particular population. And so um, it, I provided that if you have a look at assignment number four. We'll go over that a little bit more detail later on, so don't worry about that now. But that is, and will allow, I'll help you join with other members of the group. It's a, but it's a two-step process, actually a three-step process in terms of you're selecting a particular population that you want to think about with respect to biology. You're selecting of a particular system that you want to do, and then ultimately your pre presentation of the relevant information, most current understanding of that of that particular system to that population and providing a reference. We'll go in more detail. So take a look at that assignment number four um, and please post any questions that you might have about that. Um, your assignment number uh, four, our assignment, you're following assignment number five and assignment number six really are the, um, the midterm and the final exam and those will be readily identified when we take those. Those will also be online and typically what I do is they are they'll come directly from our readings or from any of the videos that we watch. So any of those sources, they are open book, open resource. So you feel free to utilize those uh, those sources. You can look at those and responding as you're thinking about responding to the particular questions. Again, open book, open resource. 
typically what I do is when I post that, the midterm and the final exam, I'll allow three to four days for you to answer the questions. I, since I haven't made them yet, the questions run you know, usually between 20 and 30 questions. They are for the most part objective questions. This is not an essay exam and asking you to um, identify the information you learn during the course of the semester. So we have those are our assignments for, for this particular uh, course. You'll need to make sure that you post your assignments, both your summary as well as um, your self-assessment quizzes and your weekly IGQs on time. I cannot accept late submissions unless there's some type of extenuating, it has to be a very extenuating circumstance. And that's to be fair to everybody because we are all busy. We all have things, we have families we need to take care of. As you can see here, I'm actually recording our virtual class from my backyard and, and you perhaps have heard from time to time either one of our horses or our dogs making noise. So I expect that you will be uh, learning and watching this information from your home as well. So uh, please understand that other members are also are, have a number of activities that they're involved in. So we want to make sure that, that everybody is fairly judged and evaluated for our particular course. Um, if you have any questions at all about the technology with respect to this course, I've provided a link to the technological support services for operation of Blackboard, also a link in terms of how to understand how Blackboard works from a student perspective. Make sure you can, if you have questions about that type of technology, um, please, that software, those software aspects, please link onto that and go to the, that information source that provides you there. If you have questions about a particular link, if a link is broken, they are all working effective as of uh, yesterday when I checked them in terms of for our particular class for readings. If you have any questions about those at all, please let me know and I will then follow up, check that particular reading, check that particular link and either provide a corrected link or provide an alternative source. Again, I look forward to our studying this semester and I'll talk, come back to you in just a few minutes with an audio lecture with our PowerPoint. You take care. Please let me know if you have any questions. Take care now.